So, hey everyone, I'm Sid. I'm building Prefix, and Prefix builds software that allows businesses to automate complex processes on computers quickly and without too much expertise. So, RPA software is seeing big growth lately, but much of this technology is not particularly new. There are many platforms in the space, notably UiPath, and they're built on the vision that we could democratize automation beyond just the few highest volume use cases for which the price tags justified. But in recent years, we've seen roles like UiPath Automation Engineer becoming a job title and protracted engagements with service providers required to really go anywhere with the software. Parts of the original vision of widening the scope for custom automation has been lost. And it's particularly difficult to change this since over time, these products ended up being built not for the businesses that actually need automations, but for integration services to deliver automations to clients. So we give customers direct access to automation software and bring the time it takes them to learn the software and build new automations to a minimum. And it's best explained how we do this visually. So imagine I'm in charge of customer support for a growing Shopify business. And we have a software we use to process refunds that I run through on a weekly business, on a weekly basis. I open Prefix, I access the software I operate on, and I start by selecting any element on screen that I need to automatically click or, or type into. Uh, then in the next step, exiting the selection tool, uh, I go right into a process diagram where I reference the elements from the first step and embed any business logic. So whatever a process here is, since it's one I've been personally involved with, I'm more familiar with what this diagram should look like uh, than our service provider would be and can build out much of this automation quickly. I started working on all this last summer after working on teams where there are painful custom automation needs and a total inability to get started with the enterprises, the enterprise RPA tools of today. The team's currently myself and one other engineer. To date, we have 20K in annual re revenue managing screen scraping at scale. We're in a security audit for a first enterprise pilot at Coinbase, and we received a 50K LOI from a contractor uh, with a multi million dollar USAID contract. We're currently raising a seed round of 1 million with 300K committed on the round so far and 750K committed to date. Thanks for listening. You can check out the website at prefix.app. I mean, this looks really cool. Um, I haven't like dug in deep on RPA as an investor. So, um, I mean, I think it's a, it looks like a really kind of interesting kind of topical category. I guess the question with something like this is just, again, like how, how are you different than what currently exists today? Yeah. Uh, so two things. The first is kind of our distribution. So we sell our software directly to businesses that need to build automations and that benefit from automations rather than this partner model where we sell into like Accenture um, and have them, um, or we bring in automation partners where they're actually uh, implementing automations for customers. So this difference means that we can be a little more selective about the use cases we address and we can focus on more like open approaches where we distribute our tool more widely and see which business users uh, it lands on. Uh, and the other difference is long-term, our goal is to reduce automation implementation time to zero. Uh, and some of the technologies we're building on the back end involve listening to actions that are being done on a computer. Uh, so we can eventually remove the software altogether from building automations um, and generate them uh, using data. And so the, 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 the demo you gave, um, can we actually go back to, to kind of the, the, the flow builder? The, the flow there, you're tracking actions that are being taken on some like third party site or like who, whose site was that when you were like creating, is this the, the customer's own site or? This is a, a demo of a retool app. Um, so this is the retools refund template tool that they, they offer for e-commerce businesses to adopt. Mm -hmm. And this automation is being this is me building it on the back end by dragging in blocks of that connect these um, these elements together, the, the ones that were labeled in this extension. Interesting. And so, huh. So, and so what, what, um, give an example of, so, so in this case, what would, what would that, uh, what is the, what does the uh, data tell you or the inputs tell you? So um, right now we have like, Search by email selected, um, the re select refund type drop down selected. Um, and so whenever I click on one of these, it adds it to this list and it tells me, uh, it gives our application some info on how to find it on screen when it's running the automation. So then when we build this process diagram and we say, okay, now go click on, um, 
or now go select from this drop down, this refund type drop down. Um, we know the selector or the image that we need to look for using computer vision on the screen, where we need to click and which option we need to choose. Okay, got it. So, so the automation, so the bot actually is performing the actions in retool. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. So you're building, okay. So you're building a bot to take those actions in, in retool or some other software. You're kind of, okay. That, that, yeah. that makes sense. That's pretty interesting. And who, who would want to use that? You think? Mostly institutions that like larger businesses that work with like legacy tools where there are no clean A to B system integrations, all that stuff has been solved by like Zapier and Zapier clones. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're looking at like uh, regional banks and regional medical centers where there are systems you don't really want to go in and really change the infrastructure for. You want to layer on top of those that could maybe create some inefficient, uh, some, ineff uh, some efficiencies on. Uh, th th this is something I would definitely want to have someone on my team who is um, familiar with RPA take a look at if you know if you want to do a, a follow up. I mean, I think this is definitely something that would be at, like in our wheelhouse. Um, but I, I'd want to get someone on our team who, you know, is a little more familiar with RPA and the existing kind of state of the art to, to take a look at it. But I, I think it's really cool. It looks really cool. Appreciate it.